today on Doctor to Doctor. You don't have to be old just because you had another birthday. Dr. Eric Braverman shares the seven basic concepts of aging next on Doctor to Doctor. This is Eric Braverman, MD, with Good News Message. So let's reveal the great deceiver, death, which is aging. Aging is summarized in seven basic concepts. You burn up, you dry up, you swell up, you turn to stone, you get choked to death, you rust, and then you're just called old. These are all our enemies and the enemies of God's kingdom. Now what is burn up? We call that oxidizing and everyone's taking antioxidants and they're eating fresh spices with 10,000 ORAC value, which stands for oxygen radical absorption capacity. So you're eating foods that absorbs burning up because each of us is a point of light. We have Holy Spirit fire in us. It, we're filled with Holy Spirit fire. We are basically a representation of his image, which is light and love, and then you can't hold the fire and you burn up. All right, you burn up all over your body. And when you burn up, you basically go to the next step. You dry up, because when you're on fire and you're burning out, your body has to put the fire out. Now, you can't hold your water. So how come you drink water as you get older, but you still go from a grape to a raisin? The reason why we're all going from a grape to a raisin is that we can't hold the water because the membranes of our skin and all the glistening membranes around all our organs, they're all wrapped in like a saran wrap, glistening moisture. We can't hold the moisture though. Our skin is dry and we can't fix it with skin creams. Is that our hormones are dying. Testicles are falling asleep. Ovaries are passing away without a funeral service. Organs are dying all over your body, losing 21 natural hormones and more. Your absorbing of nutrients is diminishing through your GI tract. And the good news is we know how to reverse each one of these. We know how to stop the burnout or oxidizing. We know how to stop the drying out with natural hormones. So then what happens though when you're burning up? Well, if you can't control your flame, you're going to inflame. So C-reactive protein goes up, homocysteine, sed rate, your joints change shape, your face looks different, your skin's inflamed, you get inflammation and illness and infection because inflammation destroys your immune system, you get swellings in your ankles and bellies and heart muscles and muscles and fluid with fat, and now you are inflaming. And so we know what the anti-inflammatory diet is, we know what the anti-inflammatory nutrients are. We know the anti-inflammatory leaves of the tree of life and the anti-inflammatory lifestyle. We know how to use vitamin D to make up for the fact that our skin is inflamed and it can no longer absorb vitamin D from the sun. If it can't absorb from the sun, it can't get the full health and nutrition that we need. Then the fourth principle of aging is that you calcify. You're all getting short. I have good news. The end of shortness, the end of height loss. At 50, most people have lost a quarter inch. By 60, most have lost an inch. Most people get shocked when they come to my office and see at 70, they're two inches shorter. and 80, they're four inches shorter. and 85, they can be six inches shorter. We have natural parathyroid hormones, vitamin D, repair hormones, natural hormones, boron, strontium, a host of nutrients. No one has to lose any height anymore. So now, you don't have to calcify or turn to stone. So your burning up is stopped, your drying up is stopped, your inflammation or your catching fire has stopped, all right? You don't have to put out the fire of plaques in your brain causing dementia, right? Because you use the calcium in your body of your bones to put out fire everywhere. It's like salt on ice. You put out the fire, you put out the colds, you put out the changes. So when you start to calcify and lose height, guess where that calcium goes? It goes into your brain causing dementia, in your arteries causing coronary artery disease, into your knuckles making your hands ugly, into your kidneys giving you kidney stones, into your gallbladder causing gallstones. You turn to stone.
as you get older, but death will flee from us. And God has promised he's coming to change it all. And we have the techniques now to bruise it more than 15 years, like Isaiah did for Hezekiah when the sundial went back 15 years. Now you say, well, what about the fact that I'm getting choked to death as I get older? You are. Your blood supply will cut to your brain 50% as you age. You literally, it's if Satan has put two hands on your neck and cut your carotid artery blood speed and blood flow into your brain because cholesterol is clogging your arteries, your heart's not pumping as efficiently, your muscles are not doing as well, your body's clogging with rust called lead, cadmium, and soot, the demons of industry, the demons of industry that have to be cast out the way Jesus cast out Roman legions. He cast out the Roman legions, we are casting out the demons of industry through internal baptism called chelation. And now you've ended burning out, drying up, swelling up, turning to stone, rusting and getting choked to death. And instead of being called old, you will be young forever. For death will flee from you and you'll reign forever with the Lamb who will take his wrath on death itself. This is Eric Braverman, MD. For more information, go to my website. Remember, you're only as young as your oldest part. And the devil and all his tricks will be revealed and be reversed in health.